Uh, hi, I'm Dr. Siti Nur Kalbi Hajiwa Salfella. I'm the Dean of Faculty of Arts and Social Science, but also a Senior Lecturer at the Academy of Brunei Studies. Uh, my main um, research uh, focus on Brunei textile, uh, kain tenunan. So um, uh, I'm focusing more on uh, my research on the consumption of textile in Brunei Darussalam and how does it reflect to uh, identity. Um, but today, uh, I'm, I will be, uh, I am with Datin Hajah Aziza, Binti Haji Tengah. Uh, she's an entrepreneur, a weaving entrepreneur in Brunei. And, uh, she um, has established her business sometimes back in 1990s with his, um, her daughter. Yeah, she's been uh, joined, uh, partnering with her daughter to ensure uh, the continuity of uh, weaving textile in Brunei, especially in the uh, in the production of text, uh, Brunei textile in Brunei. Um, if I can introduce uh, Daten Hajah Aziza, uh, she's been um, uh, acquiring the. Uh, the skills from her, her grand, grandmother and her parent, uh, her mother. So she's been in this uh, uh, weaving has been in the family for generations, and uh, currently she's also passing down uh, her skills to her daughter. As I mentioned just now, that she she joined venture with um, her daughter in establishing weaving in um, uh, business, and now uh, they have also pass down the skills to her granddaughter oh. so uh, with the hope that the the continuity and sustainability of uh, weaving uh, traditions in Brunei could you ask her and for her to share with us her story about the start of how she started in this who taught her this and things like that Boleh kita ceritakan macam yang sejarah macam mana kita dulu mula-mula uh, pandai berkecimpung dalam uh, apa namanya ni uh, bertenunan. bertenunan ni siapa ah. mengajar kita cerita ah. saja. Ya cerita mula-mula aku, hmm. aku belajar dari anu sajalah dari babu. Okey. Ah. Panjang dah macam mana cerita kita <laughs> macam dulu tu. Oh. Uh, dari uh, dari apa kita belajar macam yang kita cerita. Oh dari kita. dari awal lah nak belajar mak <coughs> bertanun dulu kemudian memilih mengani natar hmm. ah bisa lakapkan satu anu ada orang menyuruh menyuruh apa tu kan ditanun hmm. ditanun ditanun hmm. ditanun mula-mula dari umur 16 tahun hmm. ah mula-mula <coughs> mula-mula menanunannya were there a lot of you doing it or at the time when you started ada banyak orang kan masa tu dengan kita bertanun atau uh, mama kita tak sampai kami sekeluarga saja dalam, dalam rumah tapi dalam rumah lain Di kampung itu memang sekampung itu bertanam. Ada juga. Saudara ada. bis kita juga. Uh, saudara, keluarga. Uh, jadi di kalangan keluarga bis kita uh, ada juga bertanam. Ada, tak? ada. Tapi di rumah semua. bis kita, bis uh, kita sama bapak kita. Ada babu, tuan kuatok, uh, anaknya. Ah, uh, ok. Bis kita orang. serumah itu dulu? Serumah. Uh, empat orang. Hmm. Ok. Would you like to share with us? Ya, yeah, uh, she started um, weaving uh, when she was 16. She learns all the process from A to Z, yeah, from... Uh, uh, handling the threads and so on so then come to um, I mean designing and so on then she um, she weaves yeah so uh, she did mention that at the time there are some kind of uh, requests from people uh, to buy their product so she she did that and um, in in the in her in her own house, there are four of them: the mother, um, herself, uh, her aunt, and her cousin. But um, in the village, there are also other people who did weaving. Uh, but there are also uh, family members. Yeah, uh, mm. it seems that uh, there her are other family. people. Yeah, the extended family. The extended. Yeah. Uh, right now, uh, how about? The other families were they able to preserve the same 
uh, tradition and come out with weaving just like uh, she has done. Macam ano yang dulu kita friends. ada sepupu kita tu bertanun. Sekarang ni masih je bertanun. Ah, sekarang ni dah sudah. Ah, okey. Ah. Siapa yang lain? Siapa ni? Dah turun. Dah turun. Hmm. Okey. Yang keluarga kami aku yang ni turun. Ah, okey. In her family, she's the only one currently. Uh, the cousin had passed away. So they were not able to, you know, expand and the others then didn't really pass down the skills to the to the um, children. So now she's the only one. Uh, I mean, yeah. uh, including the the child, uh, the, the daughter and the granddaughter. Yang sama-sama aku bertanya nanti dulu sama umur. Ah, uh, okay. She's uh, the the cousin that she, uh, uh, I mean, who we uh, who we've um, previously. The cousin is actually at the same age about. Uh, with her so mm. yeah so uh <coughs> is it uh, aside from probably teaching this in the school uh but the home uh entrepreneurship mm -hmm. has sort of uh, dwindled down would you say um uh, uh, I mean, um, in Brunei, there are. Uh, I mean, in 1975, uh, Brunei Arts and Handicraft Centre uh, was established. Yeah, mm. I mean, previously, um, it's oh, it's limited to family, uh, inherited family to uh, to the members. I, I could say it's a bit closed uh, community at that mm. time in terms of weaving, handling down the 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 the, um, the skills. But in 1975, uh, the Brunei government had established the Brunei Arts and Handicraft Center to um, to uh, to to actually um, ensure the continuity of uh, Brunei crafts. Because they, at one time there was um, a concern that all this craft will vanish because nobody's really you know um, I mean the interest has gone down. So um, by then, 1975, so they opened up uh, a, an institution that, um, official um, institution that actually provide a teach, uh, training for uh, handicrafts. Uh, I mean, uh, those who are interested in handicrafts, uh, for example, uh, the, 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 the um, textile, uh, had, uh, what we call song cop making, yeah, headgear. Um, they are also uh, wood carving and they are also um, uh, brass smacking uh, or silver silver smith. Uh, so those are some of the uh, craft that has been offered uh, for the public, interested public. So there was government, uh, That's government interest, initiative, yes. uh, initiative coming in. Yes, uh, and then uh, yeah. quite recently they've introduced batik making as no, well. Okay. So, you know they're developing, so yeah, that's the how do do we do it? Uh, for her, it's um, it's really her interest to make sure you know. Um, I could say um, she's very um, hardworking, very creative, and um, she knows she's very determined. That's yes. uh, what I find yes. about her. So that's why uh, in at the age of 20, um, I mean, she got married. Uh, and then uh, I think she, at the time, from the age of 16 until, uh, I don't know how old is she at the, uh, in the 1990s, but, you know, she actually produced and, you know, like uh, receiving uh, orders and so on, you know. So by I think by nineteen at the nineteen nineties, uh, she established a formal uh, entrepreneurial workshop for weaving. Mm -hmm. So I mean, her her clients actually expand not only among the local consumers, which is the majority, but she also receive uh, orders from. Uh, international uh, enthusiasts and collectors such as from Malaysia um, among royal family um, I mean recently um, I was uh, I had the opportunity to to accompany uh, the Pahang Crown Princess came here and uh, get her st um, I mean her collection from here mm -hmm. and um, also from Singapore Indonesia Australia and US um, so she's uh, the the workshop has also been frequented frequently visited from um, international audience from Singapore uh, school children um, uh, I mean those who are interested um, in 
uh, university students um, also come and visit here to find out, you know, uh, the who are interested to know about uh, weaving, uh, especially in the in the in the production of text. Uh, I mean, yes. uh, Brunei textile. Yeah. Uh, uh, this uh, uh, having uh, done Brunei textile for quite some time, and it's really a cross between arts and the social entrepreneurship coming in and so on. But in the field of the arts, how uh, were you able to come out with your designs that are distinctly coming from from you and all that? Macam, eh, tadi tu ada aku tanya, uh, macam mana, uh, adakah kita macam, selain daripada yang ada, yang kita belajar daripada mama kita tu, bunga-bunga, uh, ada juga kita mencipta bunga sendiri? Ya, ya ada, ada juga. Tapi kan bukan cerita seluruhan macam, merepek-repek itu kan lah. Uh, okay. Ini kami ini dari tahun, aku tahun lalu kan mulai anu belajar itu tahun 59. Ah, tahun 59. Nah, jadi yang kami di kampung itu memang karena lawat sudah. Ah. Dari tahun 59 itu pembukaan masjid. Okay. Banyak tuh raja-raja hmm. datang ke sana. Tuh. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Yang membawa melawat, anu pengiran Indra Mahkuta, uh -huh. ah, bagian lawatan anu itu tanunan. Uh -huh. Kalau di Sungai Kedayan, bagian anu Pak Amas atau Amas. Pira. Okay. Apa ni apin orang pin anu pin Jamil ayah jom bawa tu uh -huh. orang Jepun orang mana mana orang putih apa tu uh -huh. pakai kapal betul kapal uh -huh. bolkia yeah. kapal anu tu yeah. oh, yeah. uh, memang uh, dari dulu kami sudah yeah. kami ada khas balai tu untuk lawatan uh, okay. kalau sudah orang datang kain kainan mana yang siap dikumpul semua Di, ke rumah ke uh, tempat lawatan orang tu uh, okay. memang yeah. dari dulu kan. Yeah. Um, she actually, uh, I mean, uh, she didn't actually directly um, design new design. She's more uh, on reprodu reproducing or recreating from the existing um, design, the existing motifs, yeah. And uh, I mean, that's what she said, being creative, yeah. Uh, I mean, she, she may not, uh, because she inherited the the motifs from the parent uh, the mother and you know the relatives but like interpretation of a song that has been around for yeah, some time sure. when the, yeah. the artist now reinterprets yeah. everything as it goes along yeah so she she, she didn't actually but yeah mm -hmm. uh, but she come up i mean from the well i, I don't want to say modification but recreation mm, yes. yeah recreation uh, by working on uh, the old design and add in with her own creativity so she come up with something else yeah uh, something new i guess so uh and she mentioned that uh all this um attention uh, visitor from vid visitors actually started uh as early as 1959 yeah mm -hmm. where all the i mean uh, vips uh inter international vips as well as local vips were brought to visit um, their, their, their house, yeah? They've got some kind of a place where they work, what they call a, a, a balai, uh, uh, that they actually exhibit their work and they've collected, you know, uh, those, uh, tech, uh, I mean, materials that they finish weaving and exhibit for, for the visitors to see, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I guess probably purchase. <laughs> Yeah, kind of a little bit though. Oh, we can yeah, they, they purchase that. Oh. Yeah. What would be the difficulties that she has come through? Orang putih suka bangga dia. And being able to get here. Oh, apa dulu macam cabaran kita kan berada di sini? Macam apa macam masalah kah yang kita hadapi untuk macam sampai ke tahap ini? Either technically or tidak ada masalah apa aku. Nada nada. Sebabnya kami sudah waris satu kan, okay. uh, sentiasa ada pelanggan atau okay. masalah landa laku kah, mm -hmm. masalah apa nada, nada. Nada. masalah kewangan pun nada lah. Okay. So she said she has not really fi, uh, uh, face any challenges in terms of um, uh, products, marketing their products because I think they have been um, well established, yeah. The quality of the products are well known, so she has not really facing that kind of problem of marketing um, her products. You know, it's. Uh, I mean, from my understanding of her products, it's actually they don't have enough things to you know be, because sometimes clients want to get things you know in C two you know. But I mean, 
uh, when they once said, oh, can I have it instantly, which is not really possible. So she she mentioned that she has not have any problem uh, in, 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 in terms of marketing or finding clients. And in terms of um, finance, I think she's quite uh, stable. So she said mm -hmm. she has not really faced some kind of problems in that area. So she's pretty, pretty um, what do you call, um, stable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so not really having uh, uh, such a big challenges. Yeah, mm -hmm. probably I guess the challenge is um, to uh, to fulfill the demand, <laughs> yeah. Because um, I mean, to share you uh, my experience with, uh, I, uh, I said, okay, uh, can I get these things done? You know, in one month time. You know, when I usually ask for something a bit intricate, intricate design, so. Uh, we, we will have to negotiate. I will have to negotiate with her, you know, try to say, oh, can you please? I have to beg sometimes. <laughs> so I think that's the probably because of the demand is much, uh, is more. Mm. So um, that's probably the challenge. Barangkali, atu pulang tu boja, benda tena sebab kadangnya orang kan mau tapi barang kita tu yang... Berjemput saat kesilian kan, ia kan menganukan kami menguntrikkan untuk anu untuk pegawai-pegawai uh, itu -pegawai, kan hmm. uh, di dalamnya anu untuk pegawai-pegawai itu -pegawai, yeah, oh. aku kan suruhnya mengambil bang mengambil oh, itu yang tapi kita... tidak dapat sih hmm. apa yeah. soalnya permintaan orang banyak ya yeah. that's why ya yeah. uh, she was uh, telling that she, uh, in, she actually was requested to help out uh, to produce for the needs to fulfill the needs of the Brunei uh, uh, Arts and Handicraft Center for the official attire but she said she has a, a, her own clientele and she has uh, so many orders that she couldn't afford to she couldn't fulfill yeah mm -hmm. she couldn't help in that way mm -hmm. so she has her own clientele so um, it, it, it would be a bit, it's challenging, uh, that's why she had to turn it down, yeah. Well, that's what I call uh, independence in yes. a sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, she was saying, I've also... <laughs> yeah, I've also ordered... Um, <laughs> so she said, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, So maybe she has some parting words for all uh, those who are interested in her art and her enterprise and maybe the younger weavers can be inspired. Apa galakan kita untuk orang muda-muda kita ni mengenai dengan kita ni punya perusahaan kain tenun. Paya bahaga. Aku sudah ada dalam tu tamu ramah untuk orang macam mana ni kan dari dari RTB sudah pelang digalakkan. Anu ni tenunan ni. Ia menjamin masa depan kita ni bah. Okay. Ada pada yang dapat yang dah dapat kerja, tapi ia tak payah. Jalakan benda benda sudah. Yeah, she said she would like to encourage for the young people to be involved in. I mean, if they are interested, because he she mentioned that this is really economic generating. Uh, generating intra, uh, I mean activities yeah so she would uh, like to see uh, more young people to get interested although that she said it's very challenging <laughs> it's a bit difficult she's, she said she's been um, you know uh, she's been interviewed in by the TV program and she said she has been emphasizing for young women young people to get involved you know uh, in uh, in in the, 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 if it is in their interest, so um, yeah, so it's a very fulfilling. Not only in terms of, I mean, uh, fulfilling in terms of keeping the tradition as well as uh, generating the economy. Okay. Uh, uh, how Macha. how was the grandmother doing it? Was he uh, the original design? Macam di mana desain kita dulu tu yang asli daripada diorang ataupun macam mana? Kan mana anu kamu anu orang bah ada orang mau kan asli ada orang mau anu di pusat kesenian. Okay. Jadi kat tapi kalau anu dari segi bunga-bunga tu macam mana kita membuat ia supaya lebih menarik kedangnya? Ah ya tadi ubah sedikit. Okay. Macam bunga tu terlalu anu kan padat bandar kan? Okay. Bukan. 
Kalau bunga tu basah demikian. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So she said um, the 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 motifs actually is old motifs are uh, old motifs and and uh, they also actually uh, request from the client. Uh, the client will come with their own designs and uh, you know ask them to weave. But she also say that you know sometimes the the design is like too too much so they'll she will modify it accordingly to make it better uh, for for a better presentation so she'll you know if it's big she will try to uh, make it smaller if it's too much they'll put uh, you know to make it uh, uh, different to make it different so she she'll also come up with a different things yeah a different Again, design uh, the proportion yeah proportion yeah, yeah sure yeah so basically it's all motifs yeah um, but uh, she also add some of the element there yeah so to make it uh, more attractive yeah yes. yeah and I think uh, what uh, I mean from my experience working with her the colors um, is also you know uh, we we try to work on the colors and in terms of motifs, um, I mean, recently I've one of the materials that I've ordered from her, and she also, I, although that I try to put in, you know, uh, sometimes be, I'm quite into into sets stick about color. Uh, I like to put in more colors, but she said this will look better. She she provide her advice. She will, uh, I mean, such a design will look better with these colors. Yeah. So I value that um, opinion uh, because. Um, so far, I've been working with her. Uh, it has been a very satisfying uh, ex um, experience, and the products are quite, um, I mean, a, a really uh, satisfactory. Excellent, in fact. <laughs> yeah. This is one of the latest uh, design that uh, I've worked with one of uh, our graduates. Um, she, he come up with this design. So, um, uh, but I've asked, um, uh, what uh, that thing to to weave it? So she's been advising me on the, you know, what sort of um, how to do it. Yeah, because I have different ideas. But uh, after discussing and negotiating, uh, she advised me on uh, what I mean. Where should I put the colors and so on? So yeah, it's still in a very early stage. I think they've just started this. Uh, about a week ago, yeah, and the, it shows the intricateness of this material because in about one week, they're only like several inches. I think it's about five inches, I guess. Could be five inches, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. In one week time, it's only five inches, so it shows the intricateness of this um, the, the material, the design, it's quite difficult to make. A lot of colors, yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> but I'm looking forward to see how will it look like. This is really uh, one of the early, the first time. Uh, this is what I meant by the, it depends on the client's um, request on colors, yeah. This, this could look different with a different color. I can say that. Uh, so for this one as well, but for this one, uh, the 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 client specifically requests um, these colors, yeah. So. Um, this is the same um, the same design, but it I think it looks different because oh, of yeah, the colors. The same design. Yeah, but same different colors. Uh, that's one is a different. Mm -hmm. This one is a different color. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wonder whether this uh, this motif, the design, are is mimic from nature. Uh, yeah. Is there uh, a meaning to meaning? this? Mm -hmm. These are flowers. flowers. Is it uh, some pattern? Yeah, some of the patterns are actually uh, inspired uh, by local uh, spices. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, for this, for example, especially this, the spices, mm -hmm. the. Uh, oh, what's yes. anise seed? seed uh, I think. The star. Yeah, this one is anise. what we call bunga putar. This is bunga quite putar. Yes, this okay. is quite distinctive for Brunei, and it was used to be more co commonly, uh, well, well favored by the previous Sultan, Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin. Mm. So, uh, but of course, with this, they come up with a new design. They've, um, you know, they've 
uh, modified it yeah, accordingly. Yeah, Sultan Basa. Yeah. yeah, because the Sultan Omar Ali Saifuddin likes a bigger, fl uh, bigger flower of version of this uh -huh. uh, motif. Yeah, and then this one, there are stars, yeah, stars, mm. motifs, and so on. So uh, it's been inf inspired by the environment, um, the biscuits, the um, the plants, spices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So uh, this, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is inspired from one of the Bruneian biscuit. Uh, called Jitmanis Budatina. Jitmanis, ne? Yes. That's culinary. Yeah. Uh, this is how they actually work. They have the the sketch. Yeah. Um, and I'll just put it. They'll just uh, they'll follow the sketch of the design. Bruneian basically is very um, very enthusiastic or they like vibrant colors yeah and in terms of uh, gold it's uh, most of the materials usually are one at um, a court function so those actually um, uh, some kind of uh, things that they really you know uh, it, I mean uh, the most important thing it looks good it's beautiful so um, I think Bruneians are really into enthusiastic about gold as well because that really, uh, to my understanding, um, the people who consume is mostly from a well wealthy people, well-to-do people. So gold is in a way of uh, expressing their wealth, I guess. Yeah, um, yeah. But basically, Bruneians are very enthusiastic about uh, bright colors. For example, weddings. They usually um, wear red, yellow, you know, uh, pink, yeah. And if you see um, among the uh, in 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 our uh, Brunei court function, we can see different colors actually um, represent def different level of people. Yeah, for example, the different level of officials. The there are the the ministers. Um, the, the 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 royal dignitaries so that uh, i mean each color actually represent their their position in the social rank yeah